Station, this is NASA PAO. How do you read me? Hey, I've got you loud and clear. How me? Sounds great. Good morning, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us today for the news conference with astronaut Kate Rubens and cosmonauts Sergei Kuzferchkov and Commander Sergei Ryzhikov. Tomorrow marks 20 years since the launch of Expedition 1, and Monday, November 2nd, will mark 20 years that astronauts have lived and worked continuously on the space station to test technologies, conduct scientific research, and develop skills needed to explore farther from Earth. If you are a member of the media joining us today, please raise your hand by pressing star 1 to ask a question or star 2 to withdraw it. Kate, Sergey, and Sergey, I'll hand it over to you if there's anything you'd like to add before we get started with questions today. Yeah, thanks very much. It's an incredible honor for us to be able to be up here on the 20th anniversary of the uh, first manned presence in space on the, on the space station and this continuous human presence for, for 20 years. So we happen to have picked a really good expedition to be up here, and I think we all feel uh, very lucky. And I'll pass it to my crewmates in case they want to say a word or two. Yes, we are very happy. Uh, to be on station in this great event and uh, we hope all of our uh, international team join us and happy to be with us. Yeah, we are honored to be here on board the station when we celebrate 20 years of uh, human uh, you know, habitable uh, period of ISS, and we continue our programs, we continue space exploration, and we hope we'll still be uh, here in space, in, on board the International Space Station, all together, all the partners. Thanks very much, and over to you, Houston. Thank you all. So we'll now head into questions. So again, please press star one if you have a question and star two to withdraw it. Please direct your question to a specific crew member. And if you have a question for Sergei Ryzhikov, please direct it to Sergei one. If you have a question for Sergei Kuzferchkov, please direct it to Sergei two. We'll start off with Robert Perlman from Collect Space. Hi, Kate, Sergey, and Sergey. Uh, this question is for Kate and Sergey. One, um, thinking about the past 20 years, suppose the Smithsonian were to call up there and ask you to identify an object or two that could be used to represent the past two decades of continuous human occupancy aboard the ISS. What would you pick? Hey, Robert, thanks. That's actually a great question. I think the object that I would pick uh, would be a wire tie. Uh, so we use these wire ties on EVA. Uh, they're a pretty simple object, but they absolutely do the trick. Um, they're, they're really uh, one of the workhorses of, of EVA, and it's a very simple thing that you wouldn't think is so important, uh, and yet it's absolutely incredible when we're doing uh, spacewalks. Uh, it represents all of the kinds of things that, that we can do, and to me it really represents uh, spacewalking. Uh, I guess um, all station and all program is a very significant object. And um, uh, on the one hand, uh, we have everything what we need but on the other hand I uh, wish to ask uh, for example more, more velcros <laughs> <laughs> more great tapes so any fixing elements because it's very important here <laughs> 